<clears throat> okay, ji, this is question number two from the book. And yearly, this is November 2010, paper one, two, question number 24. November 2010, paper one, two, question number 24. If we just zoom into the question and look at it, please kindly, the first thing what you need to understand is you need to go through the question. If you don't go through the question, you will not be able to understand what the examiner wants from us. So AB is equal to what P? CA is equal to what Q? Now AB and CA are already given to you. This is your AB and this is your CA. And the question says DC is equal to 3AB. This is your DC and it says it is 3AB and AB is what? P. So if I want to find out DC, I can say 3AB, right? 3AB and AB is what? P. So DC becomes 3P. DC becomes what? 3P. So what we need to do is, since the question has already highlighted, the question has clearly said that DC is equal to what? 3AB. So DC will be written as 3P. Now, express DA in the terms of P and Q. You need to give your answer as DA. Remember this, that the question when said DC, so that means the direction will be like this. And we already know this is 3P. Now, first thing first, whenever I need to write down the vector, I'll write down the root towards the vector. So that means for DA, I'll go to D to C. We'll go from D to C and then we'll go from C to A. By DA jane ke liye hum kaan jayenge? Pahle D to C jayenge. Phir kaan jayenge? C to A. Root ban jayega. Direct to jaan hi sakte. D to C humne abhi abhi nikala tha 3P. To ab 3P lik to iski jaga pe. We write down 3P instead of DC. And then C A B ke vane. C A kya ho gaya? Mere paas Q. So now what we have is DA becomes 3B plus Q. So DA, the direction goes like this and we write it down as 3P plus Q because there might be necessary, it can be used in the further parts. Now, considering part B, E is the point such that E is the point such that BE B, E, this is your B, and obviously there might be an E as well, is equal to K, Q. Is equal to what? K, Q. Now, you need to understand this, that this can be linked. We can directly say, since this is B, E, this is B, E, and the quotient directly says it is K, Q. So that means if I start from B, it can move in the direction of what Q. It can move in the direction of what Q. So if it moves in the direction of Q and this line is going like this, so directly meeting this point, there can be a possibility that this gives me what? Trapezium. Because A, C, B, E. A, C, B and the point is E. So there is a possibility, right? This is just an instant that obviously I have drawn, but the point is that it will give me trapezium because it is parallel to Q because this Q is given and K is basically the ratio of Q. So B part one becomes what trapezium. Then the next part says, express AE in terms of P, Q and K. Express A, E in terms of P, Q, and A. Now, if I want to write, write A, E, I'll go to what? A, B. And then I'll, I should have gone to B, E. Right? I should have gone to what? B, E. Then only I'll be getting what? A, E. Then only I can get A, E. So the route that I need to follow is A, B, and B, E. A, B, and B, E. And with the given reference, I already know that BE is equal to KQ. 
with the given reference, I already know that B is equal to what? KQ. So what do we do? AE is equal to AB plus BE. Your AB is, what is your AB? SP. Your AB is P and your BE is basically KQ. So this is your AE vector. Now see, you don't need to worry about anything. Normally, the quotient itself will give you each reference. The quotient itself will give you what you need to do. Now the quotient already gave me the vector for BE and the quotient have already given me vector for AB. So I just need to go to what? Your, we need to find what? AE. So for AE, I'll go to what? AB and BE. Given that, DAE lies on the straight line, find the value of K. Now, the reference that we did, <coughs> the question already said, now there is a surety of this, that this is lying in the straight line. This is lying in the straight line, D, A, and E. So whenever they are in the straight line, and you need to find out the value of K, straight line, first thing first, whenever there are two points, so these are collinear points. These are collinear points. And when they are collinear points, we can work out with the ratio of the line. We can work out with the ratio of the line. The ratio of the line can be that DA. This DA can be expressed with the AE ratio. Can be expressed with what? AE ratio. Because they are all lying on the straight line. So when they are lying in the straight line, so what we can do is we can write down DA is equal to knowing that there is a ratio. Let's give it as, as H and we write down AE. So DA is equal to HA because it's all in the straight line. Please note this. A, D and E. We already know that your point given just to correct this. This was your DAE, right? So DAE, so if we just write down this thing that this is your D, this point becomes A. And you know that this is P plus KQ. This is P. And we already found out BA in the first part. That was 3P plus Q. So we write down 3P plus Q is equal to H and AE is P plus KQ. Now, we need to find out value of what? K. Can we compare the coefficient between two? By comparing the coefficient because both are parallel towards each other. So when we compare the coefficient, this will be 3P plus Q. This will be HP plus HKQ. 3P is equal to HP. PP cancel. H becomes 3. H becomes 3. And I need to find out value of K. So Q will be compared to HKQ. Right? Q and Q is cancelled. This is 1. And H was 3. So this becomes 1 upon 3K. So that means your value of K becomes what? 1 upon 3. And the value of H becomes what? 3. Remember this? That whenever there is a collinear line, it will always be reflected with the ratio of what we did. The ratio of the lecture, lecture number two, we covered this in lecture number two. In the initial part, when I gave you the reference of what? This is A, this is B, and this is C. This was A, this was 2A. So we took out ratio of A and 2A, which was what? 1 is to 2, which I told you this is 1 upon 3 and this is 2 upon 3. So similar way, when we worked upon DAE, your DA is another vector, AE is another vector, but obviously they will be compared to each other with what? They'll be compared with each other with the ratio. 
<coughs> so when they will be compared with each other with ratio, so the ratio answer is k is equal to 1 upon 3. 